Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panaski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a good start to your Monday. We are just a few moments away from hearing from the Kalamazoo Sheriff's Office as they will be providing us an update on the search for 25-year-old Heather Kelly out of Portage. Again, this is a live look from the Kalamazoo Sheriff's Office where we are expecting to hear the latest on the search for the mother of eight out of Portage. She has not been heard from in over a week, and this is a story that News 8 has been following since we she was first reported missing some 10 days ago. Kelly is said to have spoken with her children on December 10th after she left her home and never returned. Her vehicle was found abandoned the day after her disappearance, though, in Comstock Park. And so far, no additional details have been released at this time. But again, we are expecting to get a little bit more information coming up in just a matter of moments. And you will see the entire press conference right here on the Wood TV Live Desk. And we will have continuous coverage on all of our evening newscasts. We do have a crew down there in Kalamazoo. And again, we will be starting, we'll be hearing from authorities in just a matter of moments. And again, at this time, the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office is asking for anyone with information on this case to contact them at 269-383-8821 or the Portage Public Safety Office at 269-329-4567. Again, this press conference was slated to begin at 2 p.m. We are just running a little bit behind, but don't worry, you will be seeing and hearing everything from authorities right here on the Wood TV Live Desk. If you are watching us on Facebook, I do encourage everybody to click that link down in the description box, and you can also find it in the comment section. It will take you directly to our website, woodtv.com, and there you can find all of the latest information and all the stories we have done regarding this case. It appears that everything is starting to get underway there in Kalamazoo County. And we're going to be hearing from the Sheriff's Office as they provide an update on the disappearance and search for 35-year-old Heather Kelly out of Portage, the mother of eight, has not been heard from in well over a week now. This has been a story, of course, that News 8 has been following since she was first reported missing. Our Ken Kolker is actually down in Kalamazoo right now, and he will be providing us with continuous coverage on all of our evening newscasts. Again, that starts with News 8 at 4. And of course, you can also find all the latest developments over on our website, woodtv.com. And there you can also find all of our previous coverage. Again, if you are watching us on Facebook, I encourage you to check out that web story. It can be found in the comments section on the Facebook stream, as well as in the description box. And it will take you directly to our website where you can find our previous coverage, but you can also continue to watch this stream in real time from the website as well. And we are not going to be turning away from it. We, you, will, you will hear the entirety of what the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office has to say right here on the Wood TV Live Desk. We are going to take a quick listen in right now and see when things will be starting up there in Kalamazoo. And it doesn't appear that things will be getting started right this second. I uh, do want to quickly go over again, Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. And you're taking a live look from the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office where we will be hearing an update on the search for 35-year-old Heather Kelly. She went missing back on December 10th and she has not been heard from since. She was said to have spoken to her children the night of her disappearance, but has not been heard from since. Again, we are going to blow this screen back up. We do have a crew there live in Kalamazoo where we will be hearing from the county sheriff's office in just a matter of moments. Again, you will watch it in its entirety right here, courtesy of the Wood TV Live Desk. And we will also be having continuous coverage on all of our evening newscasts, starting with News 8 at 4.
And just going through some of these comments right now, Amanda, I see your comment. We have no information regarding if they have found her at this time. We are expecting to get some more information regarding this search coming up in just a matter of moments from the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office. All of the latest information can be found right now over on our website, woodtv.com. And again, if you are watching us on Facebook, you can go ahead and click that link in the description box or comment section, and it will take you directly to our website where you can find all of our previous stories on the matter, all the latest up-to-date information that we have been given. Again, this press conference was slated to begin at 2 p.m. We are just running a few minutes yep, behind, but again, you will be hearing everything in its entirety right here on the Wood TV live desk. We're starting to see a little bit of movement going on, so we're going to take you out there live right now and just go ahead and listen in. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. This way. So would you mind switching places because I can do a handheld for the sheriff? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, your side of your face is in my shot. Well, then I would just <laughs> consider ourselves on this. And I do so apologize the for us. the slight delay we are hearing. Again, we are just a few moments away, though, as mm -hmm. things are starting to get set up. Again, this is Phil Panarski with the Wood TV Live Desk. Are these on? Can you we guys We're waiting to me? get new information okay. from the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office on the search for a missing portage mother of eight, 35-year-old Heather Kelly. Are you guys all set? And it appears that we are getting awesome. set right now, so we will send you well, there live uh, now. Thank as we had talked about last week, uh, there is a, a multi-jurisdictional uh, group working on a missing person in our community, and uh, we talked about some sort of update today, and we've got that for you. Chief, you want to say anything? Um, yeah, so we, uh, <clears throat> since the last time we talked, uh, nothing has stopped. We've continued to follow up on leads and uh, the tips that are coming in. Um, and uh, so far, um, we are making progress, but uh, nothing that, of significance that we can actually share with you, but I think the sheriff has some things that he can share. So at this point, uh, we want everyone to understand that uh, we have found the uh, missing person's vehicle, and there is evidence with that vehicle that leads us to believe that there has been foul play. And uh, the details I cannot go into at this point, but uh, we wanted to make that clear to our community. And uh, at this time, we know that uh, our missing person was last seen on the 10th uh, after 10 o'clock at night in the Comstock area on video. Uh, after that, that's the last video that we have of this person. And uh, we know that the vehicle itself was found in the Comstock area, not terribly far from the business that she was seen on video. And uh, so we're letting everyone know that uh, we're working this case together. We have uh, several detectives on it. Uh, several units have already worked on these things, and uh, it continues today. So what is that uh, business where she was seen on video? So uh, we're not going to go into a lot of detail as to where these things are or, or other than the fact that it's in Comstock Township. There's not a lot of businesses there. And uh, ultimately what we're able to tell you today is that uh, ongoing investigation continues. Uh, we have concern for her. There is a person of interest that we do have uh, in custody on another charge, and we are talking to them uh, just because uh, we want to make sure that all of our bases are covered. And I say person of interest, I, I, when I'm saying that, I mean that we believe that that person has some information that will help us locate our missing person. And can you say how close this, this uh, video was taken from where her car held in the vicinity, how close they were? Uh, it was well within the township of Comstock, and uh, ultimately, you know, it was less than probably three miles away. Can you say more about the person of interest? Um, did this person, was this the, the last person to see her? What can you say? So, again, we, I think we've been able to tell you everything that we can say without uh, compromising the investigation. And uh, so, like last time and like many of these cases, you're going to have a lot of questions that we're unable to answer. But it was our goal today to make sure that we could give you as much as possible and uh, help anybody that is uh, paying attention to this case understand that uh, the work continues. Do you believe at this point Heather Kelly is still alive? 
uh, we, we have hope that, a, uh, that she is still alive, and that's why we continue to work a missing persons case. Now, she, you did some anything? searches um, over the last, uh, last week. There were some helicopters and searches near where the car was found in East mm -hmm. Michigan and Sprinkle. Can you talk about those? Uh, so, again, Chief, I want to make sure you had an opportunity <laughs> yeah. to speak if there was something you were going to say. Yeah, no, so uh, this person of interest that we have in custody on a, on a separate charge doesn't mean we're not looking for other people. Uh, doesn't doesn't mean that there aren't other people um, who have a connection to uh, Ms. Kelly's missing status. Um, the searches that we're conducting are um, in response to uh, leads or possible evidence that we might have. Uh, and that, I think that's about as far as we're going to go with that. Has the snowfall, I mean, has that hindered your search? Yeah, snowfall. I mean, weather conditions are always going to hinder any search that we're doing outside. And uh, we've exhausted a lot of different resources. I say exhausted just meaning that we've tried a lot of different ones. Um, but we still have uh, avenues of search that we are looking to use if necessary. Are you searching for a body? Is that what I mean? If the snow is hindering your search, does that mean you're searching for a body? We're looking for any evidence that would help us find uh, this missing person. I thought you had a question. I did. Okay. Well, I, yeah. Have you guys been keeping in touch with her family? I mean, I know she has like eight kids. Her cousin is posting on Facebook, sister posting on Facebook. How are they? Are they helping out? Like, what's going on with them? So I know our detectives, and I say ours because it's these two agencies right now that uh, are the uh, primary agencies working on this case, are uh, both in contact with the relatives. Uh, anybody that has information, uh, they've been talking to. So, yes, there is contact. How long has this person of interest been in custody? Uh, throughout uh, this last couple of days, for sure. I don't have the exact uh, time. But like I said, it's an unrelated charge. It's just someone that, uh, uh, to be clear, they're of interest uh, just because we believe they have some information that we would be able to utilize in locating our missing person. Any evidence to suggest someone else was in that car with her? When you know you talk about signs of foul play, mm -hmm. do you believe anyone else was in the car aside from her? Well, again, we're not going to talk about the evidence itself, and that would lend some of that information. So right now, uh, I think we've given you everything that we can. Like I said before, I know you have a thousand questions, and you're going to ask, and I'm probably going to give some of the same responses, and I'm sure the chief will too. Uh, I can't think of anything that we've not shared that we could actually share that would not hinder this case. I thank you guys uh, for coming in, and uh, if there's anything that changes, we will make sure that we have an update for you. If nothing else, uh, press releases, and uh, that's all I think we have for right now. Chief, anything else? No, that, that'll do it. I mean, we've got we've got everybody we have working on this in our detective bureau. Uh, it's now been, um, obviously, what, 10, 9 days since she disappeared? I mean, as the days go by, I mean, can you talk about... Is it, you know, still holding out hope? I mean, can you talk about how tough that is with the days going by like this? Well, I think always the de the decent thing to do is hold out hope. We don't really know um, where she's at or what happened to her. Uh, and so we're going to continue moving forward on the basis that we're going to find her. And, and uh, as a decent human being, I'm hoping we find her healthy and happy and uh, we can return her back to her family. That's, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. And that was uh, authorities with the uh, multi-jurisdictional investigation into the disappearance of 35-year-old Heather Kelly out of Portage. Again, we will have continuous coverage coming up on all of our evening newscasts, starting with News 8 at 4. Just want to quickly go over some of the information that authorities released during that press conference, just in case anybody came in just a little bit after it started. It is a multi-jurisdictional investigation, as they said, and they are continuing to follow up on leads and tips that are coming in, but not a whole lot of new information was actually released in that press conference so far. They say that progress is being made in the search for Heather Kelly, uh, but nothing of significance can be shared at this time. There was evidence that they can't really disclose at this time found in her car that 
was abandoned and found in Comstock later or late last week. Uh, they said that the evidence there leads them to believe that there may be foul play involved, but at this time they can't release what that evidence was exactly. There are several detective units still investigating and searching for her even at this time right now. Uh, and one of the other key things that they did mention is that they are currently investigating and interviewing a person of interest who is in custody at this time on an unrelated charge, but they think that this person of interest might have some info into the disappearance of Heather Kelly. And as I mentioned, we are going to be continuously covering this press conference and the search for Heather Kelly in all of our evening newscasts, starting with News 8 at 4. But however, that is going to end this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.